Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. It's quite some time since my last recording. <laughs> um, last time we got one devil. We are now officially level 5, I believe. Um, we will do the We'll do this now. Why not? Uh, yeah, we'll have to do it anyway, so let's do it now. We are now level 5. Yay. Let's still keep the hunter, although we wanted to look at some of these, um, these things. Not sure, student of war, what does this guy do? Martially minded characters who seek to enhance and expand their mastery of skills. Eh. Hell Knight Signifier. Okay, Hell Knight. Stalwart Defender. Probably for our Paladin something. Needs dodge, toughness, and base attack bonus 7. Eldritch Knight. Pretty fast arcane spells, third level spells. Eldritch Knights blend the abilities of fighting classes and spellcasters. Okay. Paladin? Why is the Paladin down there? That's not a fish class. Assassin? That seems nice. Ah, but he must be evil. Hmm. Too bad. Arcane Trickster. Oh, this is something like Wolchip would, would have. Or is he an arcane trickster or something like that? Trick reform ability for sneak attack. Ability to cast arcane spells second level. Yeah, he, he will be. He will be um, eligible for arcane trickster. Doormaster. Whatever. Probably, oh, uh, Dragon Disciple, Winter Witch. Hmm. Dragon Disciple. We have a Draconic Bloodline. Ah what doesn't have the following features, bloodline. So we don't have a bloodline, and this is... If we have a bloodline, it must be draconic. Uh, ability to spontaneously cast arcane spells first level. Yeah, but we have only divine spells. Okay, this won't work. So let's stay with the with the hunter. Um, what do we get? We get uh, one feet, but everyone gets a feet in level five. And we get new spells. Four, two, three, one, yeah. New spell slots. Um, yeah, next. So, skills, law, nature, perception, and persuasion. We need these three always. Perception and persuasion is for the main character. Always good. And let's see. Um, Let's take one time stealth. Why not? Probably. Probably good sometimes. And let's take knowledge world. Because we can. Okay. 
deadly aim. We are a guy fighting from afar. Weapon focus, heavy crossbow. Point blank shot. We have precise strike. Another team with work feet there. Hunter tactics. Teamwork feeds to her animal companion. Yeah, okay. Precise shot. Yeah, deadly aim or rapid shot. Both is nice. Rapid shot does well. When making a full attack with a ranged weapon, you can fire one additional time this round with the highest bonus. All your attack rolls take a minus two penalty when using rapid shot. Deadly aim is, I think, the power attack for ranged weapons. You can choose to take a minus one penalty on all ranged attack rolls. Again, a plus two bonus on all ranged damage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's take this. That will do a bit more damage. Okay. Do we get another? We get another spell. One spell. One level two spell. Okay, we get one level two spell more. Summon small elemental. Interesting. Box skin is good. I really like box skin because the um. The what's it called? The uh, the natural armor is is stackable. One of uh, only one of the few stackable things. Communion stride, frigid touch, ne effortless armor. Effortless armor would be also okay with a high dexterity. Armor you wear no longer reduces your speed. Reduce your armor, armor check penalty by 1 plus 1 per 5,000 levels. Mm, yeah, let's take box game. Okay, complete. This was easy. Now, the pig. To the pig next because it's easy. Philomuchus, my dear Philomuchus, you get level 5 animal companion. You get a beat. Yes. Next. Look at this pig. Is it, is it beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. We have two skill points. Let's take one for for perception because yeah and one for athletics I think that's good and weapon we have already a weapon focus toughness armor proficiency light barding Oh, we could take weapon focus, spike, claw, gore. We are doing gore, don't we? Choose one type of weapon. You can also choose unarmed strike. Or if you are a spell card, we have to take one of these. I fought other natural weapons. Hmm. Let's see, um, can we look at what he's using normally? Mm. Can we just... Uh, we'll reset, yeah, except. I just want to see, my dear Philomuchus, what kind of damage do you do? Attack 5. I mean, 
score. Oh, there it is. <sighs> okay. Let's do this then. Yeah. We took this and that. And let's take weapon focus. And complete. Now, my pig is level 43 hit points. Quite good. He has more hit points than us. Okay, let's do these one after another. I really hate to do this, but... Yeah, let's let's take what they want us to take. Why not? I mean we'll take spell focus evocation. Scroll specialize it. Ah, that's quite good. I wanted to do this anyway. Fifth level, whenever the scroll seventh uses a scroll, it calculates the ah no. The DC for any spell it contains using the intelligence modifier instead of the minimum modifier need to cast a spell of that level. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with spell, with spell focus. Can we also take like group potions or or write scrolls? The possibility to do right scrolls. Point blank shot, ne. Spell focus, evocation. Just want the difficulty pass for all saving throws. Brew potion. Why can't we write scrolls? I'm pretty sure we should should be able to do this. Was it proficiency? Hmm. This is scroll mastery. Yeah, of course. The scroll seven can use his own caster level instead of the item's caster level when using a scroll. That's nice. Wizard builder's feet. Mm. I want someone to be able to write scrolls. I mean, he must be intelligent. She must be intelligent enough to write scrolls, mustn't she? I mean, she's a, she's a scroll seventh wizard. Hmm. I really don't know. Hmm. I'm not totally comfortable with that, but yeah, let's do it. I think we have some which we destroyed anyway already, so... <laughs> no, she was spell focus. What spell focus? Also evocation? Why? Spell penetration? Elven immunities. Hmm. 
Open Potion. Alertness. Evocation, what's evocation? That's like the Rumtzak spells, aren't they? She'll take reduce person. She takes evocation and then she takes a transmutation spell. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Burning arc, scorching ray are evocations. Burning hands. Yeah, okay. In the background, my son is dying. <laughs> Glitter dust? Wait, what? Ah, I should take Glitter dust as level 2 spell. Okay. Why Glitter dust? I mean, it's okay to see to see invisible things, but um, really? Okay. Why not? So, this guy, he's an oracle. What's that? It is Oh, <laughs> he doesn't believe in gods. That's interesting, <laughs> especially for an oracle. Oracles are divine spellcasters, I think, aren't they? What's an oracle? And castle. Um. Is there no info about the oracle if you... Closing the... yeah, yeah, except. If I go now to oracle... ah, there it is. Although the gods work through many agents, perhaps one or more... None are more mysterious than oracles. Yield powers that even they do not fully understand. Unlike clerics who draws their magic through devotion to a deity, oracles garner strength and power from many sources, namely those patron deities who support their ideals. Instead of worshipping a single source, oracles tend to venerate all of the gods that share their beliefs. Now, this is the reason why he's atheist. He's not uh, sworn into one god, but to all of them. So atheism wouldn't be wouldn't be the right. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay, but ah, I see. She's not in the. I did something with her, so she's not. Take one trickery because she's really good at that. <laughs> and let's take, um, could take one in law nature. Why not? So, fencing grace, piranha strike, or point blank shot. Fencing Grace, what does this do? Your dashing style and fluid fencing forms allow you to use agility rather than brute force to tell your foes. Choose one kind of light or not a one headed piercing weapon, such as, as the rapier. When wielding your chosen weapon one handed, you can add your dexterity modifier instead of your strength modifier. Okay, um, let's see. 
what's your attributes? Can we? Where are your attributes? Can't we see your attributes while we are doing this? I mean, she has weapon finesse. So it's probably... It's probably best to take the fencing grade as well. To do also the damage by dexterity. And let's complete her. Okay, uh, now to you, my friend. God, my 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 son dies. Dodge. Um, what does it do? Yeah, all of these knowledge arcane and world. That's good because we don't have that persuasion. That's also nice. Yeah, why not? Dodge. Why do they take dodge? Interesting choice. Yeah, why not? It's okay. Remove fear? Really? And Bone Shaker. I really like Bone Shaker. That's a nice spell. Mm. Okay. So, then, I think you are one of these that I have to do. Ah, uh, with you, we can think of a student of war. You need dodge. Particularly in passing to martially minded characters who seek to enhance and expand their master of skills. Students of war often pride themselves in studying topics that combat focused types might not normally find value in. And the ability to draw upon unexpected lore and information has become something of a legend among the kind. Ah, I see. Uh, these guys are good at knowing things. Yeah, let's stick with the Zen Archer right now. Oh, let's look at these two and perception. Don't need to know things. Not while you're around me. Okay, let's see. What do we get now? We get key arrows. At fifth level, a Zen Archer always deals his, his unarmed damage with the arrows from his bows. For example, a medium Zen Archer's short bow normally deals 1d6 damage. Yeah. Using his ability, disability, the arrows deal 1d8 damage. Why? You, you're doing 1d8 unarmed damage, really? Okay. What does alertness do? You get a plus 2 bonus on perception skills. Skill checks. If you have 10 or more ranks in that skill, the bonus increases to plus 4. Armor proficiency light. Armor. Hmm, interesting. Back to back, blind fight, coordinated defense, nah. 
maneuvers, dazzling display, deceitful, meh, deflect arrows, meh, deft hands, the past two bonus of victory, meh, destructive, destructive dispel. When you successfully make a target dispel check against an opponent, the opponent must succeed in fortitude save. Hey. Especially hard to kill. Nah. Dispel synergy. I mean, dodge would be quite good with you. Probably. Get a plus one dodge bonus to your AC. Condition makes you lose your tax bonus to AC. This is also this. <laughs> What do these do? Crane style, you take only a minus two penalty on attack rolls for fighting defensively. Nah. Nah, not really. Endurance plus one on a lap. Or, but, and, and plus four bonus on fortitude saves against fatigue. Yeah, okay. That's not very helpful. I mean, the plus two on Atlantic is good, but yeah. Great fortitude. Hmm. Improved initiative is also sometimes quite nice. Indomitable mount. Intimidating prowess, iron will, lightning reflexes, uh, martial weapon proficiency, mounted combat, outflank. Whenever you and an ally who also has this feat of flanking the same creature, hmm, but the flanking search text attack, melee ranged teamwork, really ranged. This also works with range. Whenever you and an ally who also has this feat of flanking, flanking the same creature. Can you flank someone when you are ranged? Hmm. Probably because when you, um, when you hit a critical hit, Banking guy gets uh, an attack of opportunity. So this would probably also work with range. I think I played this wrong when I was um, was playing my hunt in our campaign. I think I thought it was always I was also also flanking when my uh, teammate was flanking, like my my boar was flanking power attack precise strike seize the moment shaitan style mm, you gain one additional element element of fist attempt per day nah Shake it off, shield proficiency, simple weapon proficiency, skill focus, stealthy, stunning fist, throw anything, toughness, mm, toughness is quite good, two weapon fighting, I mean, we could take meta magic, although we can't do magic, mm, interesting. Rapid shot. Why is this on the non recommended side? Yeah. 
normally this would be quite good for you. The more shots you take, the better, wouldn't it? You fire one additional time this round at your highest bonus. All of your attack rolls take a minus two penalty, because probably because of the minus two penalty. Hmm. What do we already have? Deadly aim. Oh, yeah, with the deadly aim, we also get a penalty. Key power, true strike. Hmm. Hmm. Kineticist bonus hit air. Should we take dodge? Hmm. Or outflank. I think this could be qu quite okay if the if the pig is using it as well. No, no let's take dodge. Why not? Dodge is good. And complete. Okay, two more. She will be harder to do as well because she was also there on the start. Okay, um. What does she need for the stalwart defender? Toughness. Toughness is a good feat for her anyway. Mm -hmm. Why do we, did we take one rank in mobility? <laughs> She doesn't have anything. Ugh. Selective channel. Ah, that's nice. Whenever you channel positive energy to heal the living or channel negative energy to heal the undead, do not affect enemies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have channeling, yeah, we have channeling. I didn't know that we, I didn't even know that this would affect the, um, also the Interesting. Um, I mean, we could do the brute potion with her, but I want toughness because I want the stalwart defender. Toughness. At a divine weapon bond or an animal companion. Should we take a horse or a divine weapon bond? Upon reaching fifth level, a paladin forms a divine bond with a weapon. Really? 
as a standard action, she can call upon the aid of a celestial spirit for one minute. But in level fifth level, the spirit grants the weapon a plus one enhancement bonus. Okay, for every three levels beyond fifth, the weapon gains another plus one. Hmm. Interesting. Let's take it. Who needs it? Ah, we can also have a keen, which gives us a plus one on criticals and a, a, a higher critical range. Hmm, interesting. Complete. So, Wolchiv, you're the last. Come on. My dear Wolchiv. Rogue Eldritch Scoundrel. The arcane trickster would be good for you. Knowledge arcana 4. Hmm. With the master of magic, arcane tricksters can make for even more subtle and confounded opponents than standard rogues. Ranged legitimate enhances the skill. Yeah. Ah, I see. <laughs> they don't use the knowledge of Kena, so we can't make him into this. On the other hand, yeah. Oh, he's taking part. That's interesting. What spells do you take? Acid arrow, scorching ray. Interesting. Hideous laughter. Watching Ray and Hideous Laughter, whatever. No, oh, Hideous Laughter will go really there. That's good, I think. They are ranged touch attacks, so he can make um, he can make a sneak attack. Okay, that's it. And I think this was our episode for today. We just saw people doing some uh, stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we can do this on the pig. Mm -hmm. Let them pause. You and the pig. I really don't know what to do next. I mean, look at that. We have here some demons. The demons were killed recently, no doubt about that. But it's not clear if it happened here or if the bodies were brought here from elsewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, there is Daron, our new friend, the Oracle. We can watch Crusaders. Yeah, in between episodes, I was um, I was also visiting this place for the first time, and there is a guy that I didn't see before, and I talked with him. I mean, it wasn't so interesting, but yeah. There are still people that we can find. Okay, let's go to the outside and let's do Canabras. Let's let's do with Canabras. Okay, uh, we will. No, I will 
I will stop when we are on the map. So we will look at the map and we will think of, oh, there is still the Minotaur. Uh, do we take this group? I mean, I want... I probably want one of these here with us. She or she? Let's take her. She's, she's really funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, this takes so long. I just wanted to look at the map and and discuss together with you what what we do next. Tieflings hideout. Uh like we can, uh, yeah, let's go to the library next. That's it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time soon. Until then. Bye.